Hey everyone, it's Trader Rob. Tons of high impact news this morning. We've got oil inventory reports. Um, we've got uh, BOC minutes um, report coming out um, this afternoon. So busy day in the markets. Let's see what we can get right after the intro. <music> As always, nothing that I state on my channel is financial advice, trading futures, or any type of trading is risky business. Any capital that is put out there is at risk for loss. Okay, today is Wednesday, April 24th. And as I stated, we've got um, one, we've got oil inventory report this morning at 9.30 a.m. Central Time. We've got BOC meeting minutes at 12.30 Central Time. The markets... On, on high impact days like this, obviously oil is going to be impacted by the oil report. We always get some pretty good movement out of that report. Uh, and my feeling towards the BOC uh, rates is that you typically the markets get either very, very rangy um, where a lot of positioning is kind of going on in the marketplace. Uh, there was a lot of there's a lot of tech earnings that are coming out as well. So I probably will not be trading the Rob reversal on the NQ um, today just because I, I just from my back testing and what I have seen on the markets on days like this, we typically get a very rangy type of day. Now, I could be wrong, obviously, but that's just the game plan that I'm going to have going into the morning. Um, oil over here on the left has kind of just been ranging and gold has been pretty much on a um, on a decline here early this morning. Uh, taking a look at our trades from yesterday, uh, no trade in gold at all, so no setup in gold. In oil, kind of had a brutal day yesterday trading. Eval was down, cash account was down. Um, just and really just didn't have many trades and I'll kind of explain why we had an inside bar here in oil session 1 805 closed at 810 literally got wicked in by a tick reverse knocked me out um, oil session 2 we get activated into the long and um, and both of these were really going with the trend uh, if you look at if you look at oil session 1 pretty steady decline and we then get activated into the short. So went with the trend there. We went with the trend up here um, in oil session two and still a loser. So as I stated yesterday in, in my video, trend was definitely not my uh, was definitely not my friend yesterday. So this one got activated into the long, really no opportunities on either of these to reduce any risk. Um, so two losers in the morning strategies. We had no trade on the Rob reversal yesterday, just really two, two setups. This is pre-session, and this one was at 115, but closed above the ADMA, no trade. So, and again, I've got it on right now just to show the setups, but I will probably be turning this on, off here um, going into the morning open. Now let's take a look at our dashboard. Pretty much gave up most of our profits from yesterday. I'm sorry, from Monday. So that kind of stunk. So it brought us right back down to $50,115. So the morning strategies are definitely lagging this month. Um, and there's not much more time left in the month for them to make a strong comeback. But we'll see. Um, let's take a look at the levels here. It's tricky today. The charts look tricky today. Um, kind of a lot of lines here going on. But yesterday we just had a huge, we had a huge movement up. Um, as I put in my Discord when I gave these levels, obviously you got a huge gap right above us on the ES. Um, would not be, would not be looking for trades above us right now. Um, that's just my personal preference. We do have a strong level right here at fifty-one twenty-seven, closest to price action. Uh, actually, right now is down here, uh, but fifty-one twenty-three, fifty-one fifteen. We've got a very strong level at 5110, um, another level at 5107. As I stated in 
in Discord this morning, I'm only looking for long opportunities, bounce off of levels. ES is probably one that I wouldn't really be looking at besides this trade right here. I should say the setup that I see uh, right here. Maybe a bounce off of this level, stop loss right here. You've got a predefined uh, take profit level right above us. So that would be a trade that I would entertain here this morning on the ES. On the, on the YM, same thing. So we've got um, pretty strong levels above us, 38, 814, 793. Uh, these are off the five minute time frame. Whenever you see a solid blue line, they're off the 15 minute. And I should probably get these labeled just so that people that are looking at them on the charts can see it pretty easily. Um, 38,776, a five minute level, a very fresh level at 38,739. Again, this might be the only short opportunity here on the YM, but I will not be taking any shorts. Um, just because there is some clear, you know, you get a bounce. Let's see if I can draw this one out. Let's say price action comes up right to here. You're looking for a bounce right back to this level. And then you've got a stop loss right behind you or right above you with a strong level. So you could probably have a stop loss somewhere in here to make it a good risk to reward. But the trades that I that I honestly like the best here this morning, again, would be the, sh the long opportunities bouncing off of our levels. I mean, these are just some perfect levels that um, have been drawn out by price action um, based on what I'm looking at and some very good opportunities here. So... This YM is a chart that I'm going to have open this morning and uh, we'll be looking for some tradable opportunities. The NQ to me looks probably the worst chart out of all of them. Um, we've got a high, extreme high 17,785, 17,762, 15 minute level, a fresh level right here at 17,747, um, and a level that we have already kind of pierced into 17,711. We've got a strong level below us at 17,682. Again, the NQ to me does not look like a, an instrument that I would want to be trading the levels off of today. Um, and I will not be trading the Rob reversal off of it either today. So let's see here what news does for us. Hopefully it gives us a little boost here this morning. Um, you will see all of the trades coming up here in a few minutes. Uh, if you're interested in, in getting a funded account, um, following up, following my journeys, taking up some of the strategies, um, or you got a strategy of your own that's kicking ass. Uh, there's a link below to, for that and a link below for a very detailed videos on all three of my morning strategies. Um, stick around for the trades. Order canceled. All right. And here we get into our first trade of the morning, which is in gold. Uh, we do get activated here into the short. I did have kind of... I had a ton of slippage on this order. I think it was maybe three or four ticks, um, which is a little odd. But either way, um, we do get activated into the short based off the red inside bar. And um, at first, I was under the impression that this was a max size trade. But then I started to look at the GC, charted it on there, and then you'll see me kind of make some adjustments as far as the take profit, and I believe my stop loss too, uh, just to match up with the GC chart. And it was also kind of thrown off because of the fact that there was so much slippage on this um, entry that, um, you know, it didn't really line up perfectly how I would like to have it. But um, at the same time, it is what it is. I'm trying to match it up with the the E-mini, the brother version of the MGC. So again, we get activated here into the short. We are looking for that initial push outside of the inside bar. Granted, our entry was pretty far away from the in um, inside bar, so it's already um, what I would consider a little bit behind the eight ball. But the momentum outside of that play was strong enough that honestly, that didn't even matter. Um, you know, it the market wanted head indecision in there. You could kind of see all of the bodies were kind of laid out pretty much right um, at the same, pretty much in the, at the same location. So a movement out there, that's exactly what we're looking for. Um, we do get this 
fantastic push from sellers right at the end. Full take profit, eval, and in cash. Great trade. Tar target filled. Order canceled. All right, and here is our um, first oil trade of the morning, which is in oil session one, which we trade from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Um, we do get activated here into the short. I um, was pretty happy with the setup. Um, we had some decent momentum outside of um, that inside bar, which is that red bar th that you see to the left of our entry candle. Um, obviously, momentum switches uh, pretty quickly. And not like it's too much of a thought for me at this point, but uh, obviously oil inventory is coming out at 9.30 in the morning. Um, and I'm like, well, we should definitely be done with this trade probably even before that. Well, I mean, this this trade ends up taking almost an hour. So, I mean, I have this sped up very dramatically um, just to kind of fit this in where I don't bore the, the viewers here. But um, it this thing ranges in this exact range for almost an hour. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, trading oil for as long as I have, it's very difficult to find this tight, this tight of a range for over an hour straight. You see it on some of the indices, but in oil, especially in the morning sessions, um, it is, usually it's kind of unheard of. Um, so either way, we're looking for a push out of, we're looking for a push from sellers, obviously. Um, but now, me now knowing that, uh, you know, oil reports coming out shortly, get a really bad feeling for this trade and end up taking a full loss in oil session one. Order again. All right, and here is oil session two. This is shortly after our oil inventory report from 9.30 this morning. Uh, we do get activated here into the long. Now, we did have a, a pretty strong move um, based off of oil inventory to the upside, but then it was met with a huge retracement candle down pretty much to our original area where we were ranging like crazy from oil session one. So... You know, kind of like a 50-50 play here for sure, just because, you know, you had a big move up, you had a big retracement down, you then get a the little bit of indecision with that inside bar, not the biggest indecision bar, just because almost a, like a doji. Um, and I guess you could maybe consider it as even a bigger indecision bar, I stand corrected. Um, but you know, again, we're looking for that movement um, upwards and we do finally get a push here from buyers and, you know, I was feeling pretty confident on this trade, did not move on up enough for me to obviously reduce any risk on this trade. Um, so here at this point, we're just kind of looking for buyers to hopefully step in, take me to take profit and finish off the day, two wins and one loss. But, um, Oil, unfortunately, had other plans for me on this trade. Spoiler alert, this one does end up reversing pretty strong by sellers. And uh, we do get knocked out here for an ugly second trade in oil on the same day. Here it is. So kind of a, just another mixed bag day of trading here um, this morning. Obviously, the news at 12.30, or I should say the report that came out at 12.30 did not disappoint. We did have some pretty decent price action, obviously, in the equity markets. Um, I'll get into those levels and the trade that I took on the funded account here shortly. Uh, let's take a look at the losers first. Uh, these are the trades that you just saw. Oil session one, man, that thing was a marathon. That was just, a, I mean, look at this range that it just stuck in for almost an hour. We're leading right into uh, oil inventory report, which was released at 9.30 a.m. Um, to be honest with you, leading up to that report, just didn't have the best feeling on that trade. Um, typically, there's going to be a spike. And to be honest with you, even if the spike is to the downside, which is what we were looking for, we're looking for a short. The problem that you would 
many times run into is that we do get a spike almost in both directions and then a continuation to the to the side that it wants to go into. Um, today, not so much. It was pretty much just a straight shot. I know there was a slight retracement after that, um, continued up and then kind of sold off in the later part of session two. Um, we did get another trade here at 945, closed 950. Um, took that one also for a loser. So both trades in oil this morning uh, were losers, unfortunately. Uh, let's look at the positive for today. We had a beautiful trade in gold this morning. Had some slippage. Had, um, there was actually a lot of slippage on my on my trade on the eval. Then I tried kind of matching up the the MGC to the GC chart that I have on the side. Um, so the the actual trade. Uh, let me move this. I think this is should be right there. Yeah, it was 32 ticks. There it is. So we get activated into the short based off of this 810, 815 candle right here. Um, you put your stop loss on the top of the source bar right here, which is 30, 32 ticks. 32 ticks is also what we're looking for full take profit, which we do hit. Beautiful trade in gold. Gold needed it. Honestly, oil needs it now more than, more than gold. Um, the just looking at the commodities markets looking at oil here really i mean we did have you know obviously the pump up right here that was right off of the oil inventory report but besides that was just pretty rangy of a day um and in gold again um you know obviously news but uh we were able to capitalize at least on gold which was a positive uh, no trade on the Rob Reversal today. I did have this off all day. I had it off on the eval and on cash. I'm just, I just turned it on now just to make sure there was no setups, but I was tracking it on a trading view chart. Um, you almost got a setup right here at 930. Actually, you do. It closes above the ADMA, um, but you don't have a trade here because your entry would have been one tick above above that candle right there, and we never pierce that to the upside. So we never get into this trade. This trade gets um, invalidated pretty much when it closes below the ADMA in the opposite direction, and it closed as a down candle. So either of those two scenarios would have canceled out this, would invalidated this one. Um, this trade here set up to go long, um, is not valid because it closes below the ADMA. We do get another valid setup to go short. And same scenario here. Not sure why my chart is moving like that so much, but it's kind of annoying. Um, oops, let's move that guy here. Uh, your entry would have been down here. Same scenario as the one above where this does not pierce our entry and it reverses, closes above the ADMA, so it's in the opposite direction, that invalidates it. It would also be invalidated because it closed as an up candle and we are obviously trying to go short. Um, and then this is past our time condition. This is at 145, the Rob reversal closes at 115. So no setup there whatsoever. Um, let's take a look at the levels from today. So this is the ES. This is the one that I told you I felt the most comfortable with today. Um, even drew out this bounce here. That played out extremely nice. Um, I did take one trade for $100. Um, small trade. I, I'll be honest with you. I just, with news and, you know, I was thinking that it was going to be a pretty rangy morning. Um, so I did take the perfect entry off of my line. I had a clear stop loss and just got out of this trade a little bit early. I should have just let it run right to this level, which would have been a really nice trade. It would have been almost five points, but I was at least able to get something on the funded account, um, which is better than nothing. And then as I posted in Discord, um, this was, I probably posted this, I don't know, maybe around nine o'clock in the morning. 
And I said, you know, this is a trade right here that I really, really like to take. Um, one, because I'm going off of a 15 minute time frame, So I've got a stronger level here and I've got a pretty clear um, stop loss underneath it. So, and I said, you know, it's probably gonna take news to get to there. So this was a pretty much a steady dump. But, so I did take this um, trade on the eval, on my other eval, which is this guy, and took this one for minus 200 bucks. Had, honestly, the game plan was, was right. My, it's just my stop was a little bit too tight. Um, I was looking for the bounce right here, take it right back to this level here. Um, so I was risking three and a quarter points to make five and a quarter points. It would have been a great trade, but yeah, so is life. Um, so did not get that one, but I was just hawking this one. And when I got the opportunity, I said, you know what? I'm taking it. Uh, we then had a steady move right off the news. Um, so right here, I mean, look at where this, look where price action came right to. Where did it stop? Right at our level at 51.15 that we had mapped out. Where does it go back down? It goes right back down to 50.93. There's actually a bunch of pretty decent trading opportunities here throughout the day. Um, but again, we're pa anything past 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm not really looking for it anymore. Um, so that was the ES. That's the only instrument that I traded today. Let's take a look at the YM. So the YM had, again, just some ranging right through these lines. Um, these were I drew out this morning. So this first line here did not get the bounce. You did get the bounce right here. I mean, perfect stop loss opportunity, perfect take profit opportunity. Um, came right back down and it never tapped into this bottom trade scenario. So again, Comes right back down to this major level. The only reason at this point I wouldn't take it is that this has already been tapped into many times. It did respect it, it did go up. You did have a trading opportunity here. Um, but again, it, it's for me, it just diminishes. And let's take a look at the NQ. NQ is one that I said I didn't wanna trade um, today. And this had a pretty solid sell, sell off all the way down. Finally hit a major level at 17,565, but it also blew through all these levels. So, you know, again, these gaps here were just too big for me. And I just said that, you know, I didn't have any clear stop loss or take profit in this area right here. I would have looked at uh, a long, but again, I'm glad I did that trade this chart because for me, it probably would have been pretty difficult to trade. Um, so those are the levels. Again, I'm starting to feel a lot more comfortable with them. I am growing the accounts um, pretty much daily and uh, kind of having some fun with it as well. So I will see you guys here tomorrow. Um, really looking forward to some solid trades here going into the end of April. Um, and to be honest with you, looking forward to starting May. Uh, I will see you guys here tomorrow. Happy trading, everyone.